Online commerce has created incredible new opportunities for businesses to market and sell products and services globally. But websites that collect personal information and take card payments also attract a new breed of thief, the cybercriminal. Websites can be easy to set up, but sometimes they're not so easy to secure. For the e-commerce merchant, there are two main types of cybercrime to be aware of. Data theft and fraudulent transactions. Online data theft is a constant threat because it can be done on a large scale in a single attack and it can also go unnoticed for lengthy periods of time. The old cliché of the masked burglar breaking into the vaults doesn't interest these criminals. These thieves won't break into your organisation. They prefer to steal from the comfort of their computer. E-commerce merchants face a higher risk of being exposed to fraudulent credit card transactions than merchants who operate a physical store. Because if the customer is not present when a transaction is made, it's harder to identify or verify that they are the legitimate cardholder. There may well be some disgruntled employees or individual hackers out there, but most cyber criminals are highly motivated, organized and skilled. These criminal gangs exploit the innocence of those that are not security savvy. The rewards are often used to fund other illegal and even terrorist activity. It is important to understand your exposure to this type of crime. Too many small businesses, and even some large ones, are in denial about their potential exposure to cybercrime. New security vulnerabilities are discovered all the time. Cyber criminals are constantly figuring out new ways to compromise systems and websites. As a result, a proactive approach to maintaining your data security is the only way to protect your data. Make sure that your suppliers are reputable and committed to the security of your business information. They must be compliant with industry standards, such as PCI DSS, and the legal requirements of data protection. Your contracts with suppliers should provide you with some protection, but make sure that they do. Consider your incident report plan as a fire drill. Have your plan ready before a security breach happens. Train your employees and test your plan. Should the worst happen, you need to be prepared. Your business and your reputation may be at stake. Early engagement with an expert is advisable. There are several things you can do to help prevent fraudulent transactions. These range from getting customers to thoroughly fill out all fields required on your order form to keeping records of IP addresses for each transaction, as well as noticing unusual patterns such as large orders from first-time customers which can mean an untrustworthy transaction. Checking the card security code usually signifies that the card is in the customer's hand, since the card is the only item that carries this information. Ultimately, being PCI compliant is the best way of combating payment card fraud. For more information, visit www.pcisecuritystandards.org.